This is my Sony A7 IV camera rig setup that I put together to film live shows. I've got my camera mounted on a tripod and I've got an external monitor that nice and big so I can see what's going on and then I've got an external battery that I stole from my quadcopters that's wired up to power the monitor which then runs power through a USB converter into the USB port of the camera. I also have a PD Movie Air 2S controller and follow focus motor that I have attached to the zoom on my lens so that when I turn this little knob here it will zoom my picture by manipulating the zoom on my lens. I really like this setup because I can use my left hand to run the knob that does my zoom and then I can use my right hand to frame my shots. So I can do shots that are panning and zooming at the same time and it looks really nice. Normally I would use an external audio recorder to do audio for the shows that I record but I wanted to put an external microphone onto this camera so that I could have better quality audio right on the video track and so I bought a microphone that I could put on the camera. I prefer to record my shows in stereo, so I bought a Tascam TM2X external stereo microphone that I can mount on the top of my camera. I've mounted this microphone up on top of the camera. It's not plugged in yet, but I'll plug it in in a minute. So the, the audio that you're hearing right now is coming through the internal microphones of the camera. I have unplugged or depowered my PD movie motor. So when I plug this in, I'm gonna to have to readjust the audio levels. First, just gonna plug it in. Now I need to turn up the volume. So it's somewhere around the same level as it was before. I'll be quiet just for a second. You can just kind of hear the ambient noises. Maybe I'll turn it up a little bit more. And you should be hearing what's going on in stereo now. And that's great, except that when I plug in the PD Movie motor, when I push the battery in, there is a Bluetooth transceiver in this motor that talks to Bluetooth transceiver in the controller. When I plug this in, when it powers up, there it is. You can hear that crackle. And what's going on is that I'm getting radio interference from the transmitter in this motor and the pickups, the audio pickups in this microphone. And I can, I can affect that by putting my hands in here to shield or take away the shielding. Even just by shifting around this wire, that radio interference gets louder or, or quieter. So the fact that I can hear that radio link in my audio is a bad, bad thing. And it actually ruined my on-camera audio in one of the shows that I uh, recorded because I didn't realize that was going on in time to, uh, to fix it. So I ended up buying an alternative for this and I will show you that next. This microphone is the Sennheiser MKE 440 stereo microphone. Here is the rig with the Sennheiser microphone mounted up. We're listening to the on-camera audio, so I'm gonna go ahead and plug this in. And then this one, this one has its own power supply, so I need to switch it on. 
like that. So now we're powered up and the audio level is still a little low so I'm going to turn up the volume. About like that. And as you can tell, I'm not getting any more radio noise, which is great. Putting my hand in here doesn't doesn't do anything, doesn't change the sound at all. It's completely silent. I wanted to put this video out there so that if anybody else is trying to choose an on-camera stereo microphone and they're faced the choice between using the Tascam or the Sennheiser, if you don't have radio interference or a source of radio noise anywhere near your, your microphone, you'll probably be okay with the Tascam. But my specific use case where I've got where I've got this radio beacon essentially right on top of those microphone elements, it was giving me major noise. And in that case, I could not use the Tascam. I had to use the Sennheiser. So, uh, word to the wise, if you, if you have radio interference anywhere nearby, use the Sennheiser mic instead of the Tascam.